Okay, welcome back everybody. I figured out how to work fluidic pipes, as you can see here. And I got some basic basic stuff done in here. So you can see here I've, um, I've built a few machines. There's my uh, EU generators, geothermal generators, creating some EU to run a couple of basic machines here. You know, it's, it's not going to be able to power these things at full tilt all the time, but for right now, it's working just fine. So we've got, uh, I got room for more magmatic, I, since this is going to be probably my, my main source of power here, these magmatic thingies that create build craft power. Uh, yeah, I created two hardened energy cells as well to store all this extra power that I'm, I'm going to be producing just so that uh, I'm not constantly draining the hell out of the lava. And as you can see here, I've created a kind of a basic switching system. So if I want to turn off something to work on it, boom. These two have to be off. So that's only two sides on. Boom, that's everything off. Bottom two sides are on. This, so on and so forth. So, All right. Now, that's these are, of course, just storage tanks. I'm probably going to put another third stack here. Um, these are going to be, of course, for the steam engine, which I can, or the steam boiler, which I can actually start building soon. I just needed to get a few items that um, out of the way first. So, fluid transposer, I'm going to need to make uh, tesseracts, and tesseracts are going to be used. They're fucking really pricey. Like, look at these things. So, look at the tesseract. Okay, so I need these tesseracts because. Cool. Uh, I need these tesseracts because I need to be able to get uh, power transmitted wirelessly. All right, so I needed a fluid transposer, but I need to get a whole shitload of ender pearls because I need resonant ender. As far as I can see, there's no way to get resonant ender. See, I need a magma crucible next because I gotta melt those fucking things down. Like, even to make the frame, I need hardened glass, which can only be made in an alloy smelter, which I haven't made yet. <clears throat> God damn it, it's just fucking one thing after another, isn't it? Anyway... Yeah, um, and then I needed a thermonomic fabricator so that I could make these little guys here, bronze electron tubes. This thing basically makes upgrades for the electric engine, and the electric engine is a very useful uh, engine for me. These little bronze electron tubes boost the power output of the, electron e of the electric engine up to 8 megajoules from 2 megajoules. So, with three electric engines and these upgrades... I'll be doing 16 megajoules of output power compared to the, those those uh, 12... What does the Stirling engine put out? Stirling engines, I think, put out... Oh, this is a bad example. All right, here, let's go up to the quarry because the quarry does have some Stirling engines on it at the moment just because I, uh, <clears throat> I had to decide how I was going to do this, the electric engines and shit. So I, I tossed the Stirling engines back on it, but I put it in a different configuration. Uh, I don't know if it's more efficient. It's actually less efficient, because the thing is stuttering like a son of a bitch. But yeah, what's it putting out? One fucking megajoule. So, in total, this thing is getting 12 megajoules from uh, 12 engines, or maybe there's 11 engines there's there now, or even not even... It's only 10 engines on it now. That's the way I've got it set up. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Before I had 12 engines in here, and it was putting out 12 megajoules of power, right? One of these things puts out eight. So that's eight engines for one electric engine. Sorry, not one of these, but an electric engine. Okay, so that's going to be eight. Now, one geothermal generator, I did the math on this as well. One geothermal generator will power... <clears throat> excuse me, I lose my voice. Will power three Stirling engines. 3.3, 3, to be exact. And three sterling, or sorry, again, electric engines. Three electric engines will put out 16 megajoules, which will run this thing permanently. And all I need is one geothermal generator to create that much power. 
So it's all starting to come together. I'll finally actually have a reliable power source for that. And once I have tesseracts, I can just quadruple the power uh, creation in this room here, and then wirelessly transmit the power anywhere I want using tesseracts. But for right now, this is this is the effective, the most effective uh, way of unit. So here's just the rolling machine for making plates, which I need a lot of. An extractor because I need more rubber. That's it for right now. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of how I'm going to do the wiring in here. Like have the one. So that it, that's one of the perks of building a big, huge place like this is you can make it look all industrialized. So there'll be I put it the big. I'm putting the big steam boiler here, and I'm going to put the holding tanks out here along the side of the building. I'll, I'll just clear out this brush and put two huge iron tanks. One for holding lava. One for holding Three. One for holding... Actually, I don't know if I need to do the lava one, but one for holding water and one for holding steam, for sure. We'll be going right out here. And then I can have the steam pipes go back in and power steam turbines, and one steam turbine gives me eight megajoules of reliable, simple, no-worry power. Um, you know, come to think of it, I don't even really need to make those anymore because these geothermal generators, like I said... They put out 20 EU a tick, and the conversion allows me to have three electric engines running off of one geothermal generator. So if I had, if I had nothing but geothermal generators, I could power with these. As long as I put these LeBron's electron tubes inside, I could power everything off of just those. Huh. But I kind of want to make the steam thing because it's it's really kind of cool looking. So let's just go and make some three electric engines. Oh, what am I saying? I only need two. Two electric engines will run that quarry no problem. So that's even easier. I need some tin, some tin gears, a piston and glass. That's cheap and easy. I like that. Alright, so there's some tin. <coughs> Uh, glass, 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 glass is down here. I need some redstone, I need some iron for the piston. And I'm going to need more tin than that. I need eight tin for those there, and then another six. Fourteen tin. Glass, piston, one iron, da 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 da. Okay. Um, tin. Where do I have tin? Do I have tin anywhere? Back in the main base, there's plenty of tin. Uh, yeah, so I, I didn't even realize it, but I, maybe I lost this a long time ago. I think I lost that axe a long time ago. Oh, oh, look at my replacement sword! Oh my god, some, please be a zombie somewhere. I want to show you guys this replacement sword. It's made out of uh, manulium, which is the most valuable material. <clears throat> okay, you see the green, the green handle? I don't know how well... Here, let me see if I can turn it around. Alright, well you can't really see the green handle, but there's a green handle on it. That's covered in moss. That is an auto-repair feature, so that this thing... When... Where is he? can hear him. Come on. Yes, I'm going to test it out. The red stripe is a fire stripe, and that gray band is actually quartz for sharpness. Watch this. He has 20 life. And now he has 10 life. And now he's dead. Um, oh, I need more blaze powder, I think. I think that's why this isn't burning properly anymore. Blaze. I'm down to two blaze. Yeah, so I need to go get blaze powders, like lots and lots and lots of blaze powders, so then I can load it up, and I need more nether quartz. But I'm so scared to go back to the fucking nether. I hate the nether. It is the worst place. I'm curious if you can set up a quarry there. If you can set up a quarry in the nether, I'll just do that. I'll set up a basic quarry. And a pump. Oh my god, I could probably set up a... 
Okay, okay, okay. So that's a future project. I just I just had a really great revelation. Uh, what did I come back here for? Tin. Maybe I have some tin. Okay, no tin being stored here. But yeah, yeah, that's a future project. I'll, I'll build a quarry in the nether. That way I can get nether materials without being fucking butchered by those assholes every five seconds. Tin. Block of tin. Oh, I got tin for days here. See, we're starting to burn through our shit. The uh, alumite block is gone. I've never gotten around to making a manulium block because I don't have the materials to make it. I've been using up electrum. Uh, I've been using up bronze. We have a shit ton of iron and tin. I used a bunch of the lead. Silver I haven't had to use, uh, had to use at all. But silver will be used to make electrum because now that I'm starting to make forestry gears and stuff like that, it's it's coming into use. Okay, now I need some... St Actually, how do you make those gears? What are they based on? Stone gears. Thank God I've got a lot of those somewhere. I'll just make a couple. What the fuck? I don't have time for this, boys. I'm not going to run around my whole base just trying to make two goddamn stone gears. I'll make four so I don't have to worry about it again. I need four. I'll make eight. Damn, that was close. I almost didn't have enough. Okay, we got our stupid gears. Uh, we just got to make a couple of pistons. I really should just mass fabricate these things. I I've made so many engines now at this point. I sh don't think I have enough stone anymore on me. No, I don't. I gotta replenish some of my stone. I don't have enough stone in this base anymore. Do I have redstone? Yeah, I do. Okay. One, two. Electric engines, two. And then I put these little upgrades inside. That'll give me even more power. 16 megajoule output. Now I need to make a geothermal generator. <sighs> I got to make this back at the other base or at the uh, production facility. So I'm going to need lots of iron plates. I'm going to need lots of iron plates. Lots and lots of iron plates. I have 18 iron worth. I'm going to need more than that. Take another block. Or two. And this is where that rolling machine comes in handy, because now I can just stick all these bastards in the rolling machine and get the stuff I need from the rolling machine without having to hand cut it with those tools, which doesn't work so well. Yeah, so I just need to add a little bit, few more blaze powders to this bastard. But even without the blaze powders, it's got a serious knockback. Come on, a little closer. And it does 10 damage a swipe. So quite literally, two swipes your average enemy is dead. I can work with that. Oh, and I finished the, the uh, sorting facility, as you might have noticed. And I've just organized it in a way that's more sensible. So all these ingots, you can see here I've got a whole bunch of ingots and shit like that. Um, various ingots that I'm going to be using are all going into here now, and, and blocks of iron, things like that, which, which I might end up just tossing in here because I use so much of it. This one here, I don't have anything in the red section. I thought I did. That is a problem. I 
I think I meant to put something in there, and I never did. Um, that's good for now. There's probably crap in these places I didn't mean. Oh, look at that, I got a generator right there. Fucking loving it. Yeah, I knew that would happen, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. What do I need to make a geothermal generator? I need iron plates and some cells and glass I've got, and I got a generator, so I just need some cells and some iron plate casting thingies. I need more than that. Two. No, I only need two. Do I have two cells in here? I do. I should be able to make a generator. A geothermal generator. Bang. Bingo, bango. Fucking loving it. Okay, these sterling engines I don't need anymore. Those kinesis pipes I don't need anymore. I don't need these fluid transposer pipes. Don't need this redstone engine. And scaffolding can stay here. Okay. I'm just going to leave these ingots behind because I don't need those at the moment. Redstone can go back into the sorting machine. As can the glass. And the rubber. And that. And that. And that. All I need is these three things. Some stone and some sticks. Actually, I have levers here somewhere. Where's my levers? I have so many levers. Levers. Let's bring two, just be safe. I really hope you guys don't think I cheat any of this stuff in. I mean, it, I've been at this today for four hours. Playing for four hours now. And I'd probably keep playing all day long, except for I have to go to work, so... Can't do that. You know, I don't even think you need this wooden pipe to, to get stuff out of there. We'll see in a second. Let's just build... I only have three of these left. Fuck. It's always something, uh, It's always something, right? It, can, it just can't be easy. No, 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 no. And I didn't bring my fluidic pipes. Okay, so I need a few things. God damn it all. Stupid everything. Need those. How do I make more of these? Hardened energy conduits. Invar, lead, redstone. Lead ones, glass, redstone, lead. Invar, lead, glass, redstone. What? Oh, right. Four. Okay, that's that's good enough for now. I don't want to use up all my materials, right? What am I missing? Wrong, wrong one. Twenty-one of those, and I still got six of the lead ones. Fluidic. We're rocking. Oh, almost forgot the golden pipe. Did I really use up all my golden fucking transport pipes? Glass. I don't know why there was glass in there. There should have been glass in there. Gold. OK. 
Okay. I think we got it, KOs. I think we got it. Okay, there's a tank there. And out of the tank, I need to put a fluid pipe. And then the geothermal generator. Oh, I never brought the fucking hammer with me. Oh, I hate everything. Um, thermal ex Fuck, this is frustrating. I need my thermal expansion device. Bucket, too. I got buckets. Okay. Crescent hammer. Remind me to put a pressure plate on that door. How do you get it flowing? I know there's a way. I know there's an easy way. I can just do this. Done. Okay. I don't know why I still have these Sterling engines on me. Where are my electric engines? There they are. One. No. I gotta be very careful. If I hit this thing, it'll break. Okay, I'm going to put those in last until I have everything figured out. Yeah, I know that. No fuel. I don't follow. It's connected right to the geothermal generator. Okay, that alone wouldn't put out enough power to power the quarry. Not at all. But two of them... Two of them should. Why can't I get that thing placed the way I want it? that taking in fuel? Maybe. Hard to know. It looks like it might be.
God damn it, I'm having a really hard time with this. Um, let's just stick one of these things in here. I got a couple extras. For right. For safety's sake, here, I got a couple extras. Okay. Boom. Turn it on. Huh? Why does this always happen when I'm trying to show a video? What is going on with this engine? Two megawatts. It should be putting out a lot more than two. Uh, it's gaining heat. Let's see what happens when it gets its full heat here. Maybe I'm doing something wrong here. Energy can engines can overheat if they if the energy they produce is not consumed. Reaching a melting point will force them into cool down. Yeah. be putting out more than two megajoules. That's the whole point of this bronze electron tube. Fuck my couch. How do I orientate these? Okay, I've got a forestry tool back here. I'm gonna go grab it. I don't want to end this episode until I have this fucking figured out. This is driving me nuts. I want that goddamn quarry up and running. Forestry. Where is it? make another one quickly. There it is. Bronze, bronze, bronze. Okay, I can make that. Oh, blow my fucking brains out, please, somebody. Oh, sweet God, I hate this. The hassle I'm having to go through right now just to be able to do this is so unneeded. I thought I had this with this Ender IO wrench. Where's the fucking orange wrench? That's not enough bronze to make this. I need four. That's three. Why does God hate me? Tell me there's some bronze in this bastard. Hey, hey, hey. Can you tell I'm starting to lose my patience? Can you? Can you? Because I'm, I'm really am. I really fucking am. And I'm also going to go grab some wire. Some copper wire, uh, because maybe I can just move these engines, place them on top of the copper wire. I have no copper wire. Ugh, why does God hate me? He hates me. He does. He must hate me. Uh, 
Okay, good. Thank God I have these snips here. That's a bronze plate. I don't have any copper plates to buy. just faster. It's not more efficient. And this plate should cut me like six strips, not two. Bullshit. Rubber. Tell me I have more than one rubber. Would have been really nice. Alright, well I have one to work with. We'll have to make it work. Now it's raining. Of course. It has to be fucking raining. And there's zombies, because it's night. I love this sword. It's so good. The wrench! The fucking wrench! Oh my god! The whole reason we went back here in the first place was the wrench. Which I'm still not sure it isn't in here. Ah, oh, it is here too. This video is going much longer than I wanted it to. I apologize. I'm almost finished with it. I don't know where these guys are all coming from all of a sudden. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't orientate shit. This is why. <gasps> no, 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 no! <laughs> Come on! Every episode is like this now! I didn't even get the machine block! Fucking ah! Well, I think that's the end of this episode. I am, uh... Gonna go scream for a little while, I think. Fuck. Fuckity fuck. 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 Every episode, you guys. Every episode I, I'm giving you guys ends like this. Why is this constantly happening when I'm trying to record stuff? Why can't I just have a successful episode for once? Instead, every episode ends the exact same way. I'm blowing up, Creeper blows up and kills my shit. Or I fall in lava and I get my shit killed. Or a bat blows me up and puts me into lava. Or something bad happens, like a fire thing burns me to death. Why is this constantly happening? This is so unfair. <sighs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for more disastrous Minecraft adventures with Evan Better. I'll see you guys in the next episode.